On day one, I spawned in as a baby lightning dragon, and I was surrounded by a lightning storm. I was on top of some kind of shrine. This must be my home. Wait a minute, why is it all messed up? Suddenly, I spotted a wizard flying around it. Hey, what are you doing? A lightning dragon. Perfect. Killing you shall grant me enough power to fuel myself for an eternity. The wizard then tried to attack me, but knocked me off my shrine. Because I was a baby, I only had five hearts. I was getting really scared, and I needed to get out of here. Suddenly, I felt a surge of lightning power, and I sped past the wizard. I was a good distance away, so I used my dragon wings to fly out of the area. Soon I shall capture you! On day two, I was flying as fast as I could. I could still hear the wizard calling out my name from behind. Where are you? I was tired, so I quickly landed. I knew that I needed to defend myself and fast. So I quickly broke down some nearby trees and made myself a set of wooden tools. Explosions could be seen nearby, and I knew that the wizard was getting close. I then heard rustling in the bushes near me. Oh no, that's it. I'm done for. Then out jumped a rabbit. Ah! Please don't hurt me. The rabbit seemed really scared, and I reassured him that I wasn't going to hurt him. I'm Fozo. What brings you to the forest? The rabbit introduced himself as Jumper, and he told me that he wound up here because he was running away from a wizard. The wizard attacked my home and killed my family. I have nowhere else to go. All of a sudden, another explosion was heard, but this one was way closer. Listen, Jumper, we need to go now, okay? I told him to follow me, and I would find us a safe place to hide from the wizard. On day three, Jumper and I made our way through the forest. I found a nice open area and decided that this would be a good place to set up a home. I quickly gathered some stone with my wooden pickaxe and upgraded to stone tools. I then spotted some sheep grazing around and used my stone sword to kill them and collect their meat. I knew Jumper wouldn't eat meat, so I collected some sweet berries on the way back to base. Then I returned and started to build us a small shelter. Jumper was so tiny that he could just room with me for now. After finishing that up, I placed a chest and furnace inside and cooked the mutton meat to eat it. I then crafted myself a bed with the wool I found and placed it inside the house. Jumper came up and told me that he loved our new home. Jumper then said he realized who I was. You are the lightning dragon. The chief of my village told us plenty about you and your prophecy. I told him that I wasn't sure what he was talking about, but I had to find out more. Jumper told me where I could find his village. I thanked Jumper and headed off towards his village. On day four, I made it to Jumper's village and the place was a complete mess. The village was in ruins and I couldn't find survivors anywhere. I may have come too late. Suddenly, a badger ran up to me. It looked like he was a resident of the village. It's, it's you. You're the lightning dragon. You know who I am? Yeah, uh, you were chosen to save the world and defeat the evil wizard, Zoltan. Zoltan, this must be the same wizard as before. That would be correct. We both looked up, and the wizard was floating right above us. Ah, run! The badger tried to run away, but Zoltan killed him and took his life force. Why? Why would you do this? Taking everyone's life force was just a small step towards my plan. Once I capture you, I will use you to absorb all the power in the world. Then I will be unstoppable. I won't let that happen. <laughs> we will see about that. I used my lightning breath on Zoltan, but it didn't affect him. Zoltan then used his wand and blasted me with some kind of spell. Ouch, I was extremely weak. I needed to get out of here. I used my lightning abilities to quickly run past Zoltan and then flew out of the village. You will never escape me. On day five, I landed a great distance away and decided to take time to catch my breath. Oh man, if I wanted to take down Zoltan, I needed to get stronger. I noticed that there was a cave nearby and decided to go inside of it. The cave had some iron, so I used my stone pickaxe to collect the material. Suddenly, I got blasted from behind and I was in so much pain. Ow, who did that? I turned and a small wizard was inside of it. Lightning dragon, you will come with me for the sake of Zoltan. Great. A Zoltan minion in your dreams i used my lightning powers and charged right at it but he knocked me away and sent me to the ground no i refuse to give up i used my stone sword and struck the minion down suddenly my body started to grow and i became a full-grown dragon i even gained 10 more hearts awesome i've gotten stronger now that my strength increased i flew out of the cave and made my way back to base i landed at the front of the base and jumper was happy to see that i've returned i'm glad to see you made it back 
back safely. What happened with my village? Were there any survivors? I gave Jumper the bad news that Zoltan killed off the survivors, leaving it empty and destroyed. Jumper was greatly saddened by this, and I told him that I was sorry that I couldn't save them. He told me that this wasn't my fault, and I promised that I would stop Zoltan and end his reign of tyranny. I asked Jumper if he knew any helpful information about him. Well, Zoltan first appeared in a town not far from here. Maybe you could find something there. That's a good start. I thanked Jumper for his help and flew off towards the location. On day seven, I landed there and was at the center of a destroyed town. I looked around and there seemed to be no one in sight. It looked like Zoltan destroyed this place too. I continued investigating the area and an old knight hey! jumped out and surprised me. Oh, who goes there? I told the knight that I was the lightning dragon and I meant him no harm. He calmed down and listened to what I had to say. I told the knight that Zoltan was after me for some reason and I needed to find a way to defeat him. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Zoltan the mad wizard. If he's after you, then you might be the key to stopping him. The knight introduced himself as Milo the guard and he told me more about Zoltan. Zoltan has been terrorizing the people of this world for far too long with his powerful wand. His magic, which was once weak, has now turned into the most powerful force in the world. There's only one last thing that can help him get more powerful and it's the lightning dragon. I told Milo that I wanted to defeat Zoltan for Jumper's sake and everyone that the wizard is harmed. Milo was excited to hear that and handed me a map. Throughout the world, there are different calls that I think you'll need to find that I believe will make you stronger. Retrieve them and you'll be able to defeat Sultan. Milo told me that the first core was located in his kingdom on the map. I thanked him for his help and flew off to find the first core. I made it to Milo's kingdom and just like the town, it was completely in ruins. I knew that it was going to be difficult finding this item. I searched around the city, following the map to find the first core. All of this destruction that Zoltan caused? It was horrific. I continued my search and came across some chests. I opened them and there was some iron boots left inside. I equipped a pair of iron boots. That should give me some more protection. As I journeyed deeper into the kingdom, the map led me to the castle, which was also in a rough shape. I walked inside and came across a tunnel. Strange. I wonder if this was where the first core was. I went down the tunnel and it led me to a cave under the kingdom. I searched the cave and found a strange item lying on the ground. It looked like the first item that was on the map. It was an enhancer. I equipped the enhancer and my power started to increase. I gained five more hearts and I had a new ability, a much more powerful version of my lightning breath. Suddenly, the cave started to shake. Something must be going on back up top. I left the cave and went to go see what was going on. On days nine to 10, I walked out of the castle and spotted some of Zoltan's minions destroying more of the kingdom. Keep looking, that lightning dragon has to be somewhere. I guess Zoltan was able to track me. Why don't I see what this enhanced lightning breath can really do? Hey, uglies. Zoltan's minions turned around and spotted me. I'm right here. It's the lightning dragon. Get him. The minions started to charge at me, and I used my enhanced lightning breath and mowed some of them down. Wow, I've gotten stronger. More of the wizard's minions came at me, and one of them was able to attack me and deal some damage. Ow, that hurt. I used my lightning breath and quickly defeated them. I already lost five hearts from that attack. If I took any more, I'd be done for. I was completely surrounded by more of them. There were too many to fight. I quickly used my lightning breath to open a path through the minions. Then flew out of the castle. I made it back to base and told Jumper that I encountered some of Zoltan's minions. Don't worry, Fozo. You'll beat Zoltan and his army eventually. Suddenly, I could hear Jumper's stomach growl and realize that he must have been very hungry. Jumper told me that he already ate all of the vegetables that I gave him. I was getting hungry too and decided to create a food supply so that me and Jumper could always have something to eat. I quickly left the base and spotted an area that was full of vegetables. I collected all the vegetables and saw some pigs were grazing over the grass. I pulled out a carrot that I collected and lured the pigs over to my base. I then used some leftover wood to build a farm for the pigs to stay in. I gave Jumper some of the vegetables to eat, then used the iron I had left over to craft a bucket to grab water in. I found a nice area full of grass around the base and started to create a farm. Soon, this place will be full of vegetables. I then decided to use some of the stone and wood that I collected and expanded more of the base. I made it a lot bigger. Now that I'm a full grown dragon, I needed a larger place to live. After working on my house, I told Jumper about Milo the guard and how I met him. Speaking of him, I should go check up on him. Make sure he's safe. I left my base and headed back to find Milo. On days 13 to 14, I returned to the destroyed town and searched for Milo. Milo? Milo, where are you? Shh, 
Be quiet. I'm over here. I found Milo hiding inside one of the destroyed houses. I told the knight that I found the first item on the map and that I've grown stronger thanks to him. Well done, my friend. There are more cores scattered around the world. It will be up to you to locate the rest of them. I then told him that I would find the rest of the cores and once I've collected them, Zoltan was as good as gone. He was happy to hear that and told me that he might know the location of the next core. That evil wizard took someone very dear to me. He must be defeated. I heard rumors that a core might be located in the desert. Hopefully you can find it. Why don't you come along and join me? I could definitely use the help. Milo told me that he couldn't because he was getting too old for knighthood and that he needed to rebuild the kingdom that Zoltan destroyed. Do be careful on your journey, Fozo. The roads are littered with Zoltan's minions. I told him that I would and flew off to go find the next core. As I was flying towards the desert, I decided to make a small detour and look for some resources. I needed a better way to protect myself against Zoltan and his minions. I spotted a cave in the forest and went inside to look for some materials. As I journeyed down the cave, I spotted some iron. I ended up having enough to complete most of my iron armor set. With this, I should be able to handle Zoltan and his minions' attacks. I made my way out of the cave, and a knight was waiting for me outside. He was covered in dark armor and didn't seem friendly. Who are you? I am Joseph, the cool, and you are coming with me, lightning dragon. I'm not going anywhere with you. I hit Joseph with my enhanced lightning breath, but it didn't even scratch him. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Joseph charged at me and hit me with his mace. The blow knocked me away and it was hard for me to stand. Why are you doing this? He told me that he works under Zoltan and said that he loved the destruction he caused. Now get up and fight me. Let's see how much destruction we can cause. I got up and tried to hurt Joseph with my iron sword, but I still couldn't deal any damage. Joseph hit me with his mace again, and I was taking a lot of hits. I can't beat this guy. I flew up into the sky and left before Joseph could hurt me anymore. You coward! On days 17 to 18, I was flying throughout the world and continued my journey for the next core. Milo was right. The more cores I find, the stronger I'll be against Zoltan and his forces. They're just too powerful for me to handle right now. I made it to the desert and spotted a temple as well. Maybe the next one will be inside here. I landed and entered the temple. I found an iron golem was waiting for me inside. Maybe this was some kind of test and I needed to defeat the golem to retrieve the core. I was about to hit him, but he quickly stopped me. Wait. I don't mean any harm. I calmed down and listened to what the Iron Golem had to say. He told me that Zoltan also plagued him and his people with misery and strife. If you could help me with my dilemma, then I will gladly give you the core. The Golem needed me to collect an ancient item that his people once had. It was located somewhere in a snow biome not far from here. The Iron Golem told me that the item was an ancient sword that he believes Zoltan has hid from him. I told the Golem that I would bring back the sword and flew off towards the snow biome. I decided that I should should go check on Jumper and see how he was doing. I made my way towards the base when suddenly I got hit by something. Ow! I crash landed to the ground and I could hear Zoltan laughing from the hilltop. Lightning Dragon, did you think I wouldn't fight you? I told the wizard that I knew that he just needed me to power up his wand. That's right. I'll have an infinite amount of power once I capture you. Zoltan charged at me, but I used my enhanced lightning breath to stop him in his tracks. Weak lightning like that stands no chance against me. The wizard casted a shield around to protect himself. Zoltan blasted me with a spell that sent me flying across the area. I already lost a good amount of hearts. I didn't stand a chance against him and needed to escape. Zoltan tried to charge at me, but I flew off and escaped from him. You can run, lightning dragon, but you cannot hide forever. On days 21 to 23, I returned to base and Jumper ran up to me. He could tell that I was hurt. You must have fought that crazy wizard again, huh? I told him that I did, and I just barely escaped him. Jumper gave me some carrots to help regain my strength. I thanked him and noticed that the vegetable garden has fully grown. Hey, thanks for doing that. He told me that it was no problem, and then he also upgraded the farm and added chickens and cows. I decided that I should upgrade the base as well and use some materials I left over to build up more of my house. After I finished upgrading it, I went over to Jumper and told him about my mission to find the ancient sword and retrieve the next core. It's probably going to be dangerous, so why don't you take this for protection? Jumper handed me some iron ingots that he found. Now, I had enough iron to complete my iron armor set. I thanked Jumper for giving me this and flew off to go find the next 
hardcore. I arrived in the snow biome and oh, it was cold. I journeyed further into the area and came across a castle that was covered in ice. I decided to go and investigate the castle and found that the place was being guarded by Zoltan's minions. This must be where he's keeping the sword. The lightning dragon? What's he doing here? It doesn't matter. Let's get him. The minions confronted me and I used my lightning breath to take down some of them. The rest of the minions were frightened of my power and ran out of the castle. That's right. You you better run. I continued going through the castle and eventually I found the sword that the iron golem had mentioned. Wow, this thing looks cool. I equipped the sword and flew out of the castle, heading back to the desert temple. On days 27 to 29, I made it back to the desert temple and went inside to tell the iron golem the good news. Thank you, Fozo. This sword means so much to me and my people. I tried to give the golem back the sword, but he refused. Why won't you take it? He told me that it was better off off with me instead. I believe you will find it useful to you in your fight against Sultan. The Iron Golem also gave me the second core for retrieving the sword. Thanks! Now I had 10 more hearts and I felt way stronger. This should help me get out of sticky situations. Uh, my lord, the lightning dragon showed up at the castle and has taken the electron sword. You found the lightning dragon and you didn't even capture him? But my lord, the dragon was too strong for us to capture him. So you got stronger, huh, Lightning Dragon? Let's see how strong you really are. I decided to head over to the kingdom to see how Milo was doing. When I arrived, I noticed that some of the castle had been rebuilt. It looks like you've made some progress on rebuilding the kingdom. The knight turned around and was glad to see me. It seems that you found the second core. I told Milo that I did and was getting closer to being ready to take down Zoltan. The only problem was that I had no idea where to find the next core. I asked Milo if he had any idea. I'm sorry, my friend. I have no clue either. I was upset, but Milo told me that I would find it eventually. He said that it was my destiny. I decided to help Milo with rebuilding the kingdom, and by the next day, the two of us made a lot of progress on it. Thank you, Fozo. If you need any help from me in the future, I'll be here. I thanked Milo for his help and flew off back to base. On days 33 to 35, I returned to base and Jumper was there waiting for me. It's good to see that the iron I gave protected you from trouble. I told him that I appreciated the help. Jumper then noticed that I wasn't myself. I told him that I had no idea where to find the core. I just needed to find where the Guardian was hiding. If I could find him, then I can find the next core. Don't worry, Fozo. You'll eventually find it. I told Jumper that whoever has the core would probably have immense lightning powers. Lightning, huh? Matter of fact, I saw a place in the sky and there was lightning everywhere. That sounded like a good place to start. Jumper gave me the location and I flew over to find the place floating in the sky. Before I went over to the floating city, I decided to find more resources that could help me fight against Zoltan. I flew throughout the world and spotted a cave nearby. I landed in the area and went inside of it. As I ventured into the cave, I managed to find some diamonds. I used my iron pickaxe and collected the diamonds that were in the area. I then collected enough to craft myself a diamond pickaxe and a pair of diamond boots. Nice. If I find any more diamonds, I'll be sure to upgrade my iron armor. I was about to leave the cave, but Joseph was there. Oh, you poor. Poor lightning dragon. You think some diamonds are going to make you stronger? Joseph was pitying me and I felt offended by it. I'm not as weak as you think I am. Give up peacefully, lightning dragon, and this will all be over. Never. I pulled out my sword and blasted Joseph with it. It seemed to have damaged him, but only a little bit. Joseph charged at me and used his mace to attack. I lost a good amount of hearts and knew that I couldn't win like this. I used my new speed to zip past him and got out of the cave. I flew away and made my way towards the floating city. On days 39 to 41, I was flying in the sky and spotted the floating city. There was lightning and thunder all around me, so I made my way up to it. I landed inside, and the lightning suddenly stopped. Okay, that was weird. While walking around, I felt a strange sense of power, and it wasn't coming from me. I decided to follow this strange sensation, and it led me into a small temple where a person was waiting for me. Hello, Fozo. 
I knew you would come to Olympus eventually. How do you know my name? The man told me that his name was Zeus, and he told me that he was the god of thunder and lightning, so he knew all things in regards of that. Then you know why I've come here. I told him that I was looking for the core. You will receive the core once you are ready. What is that supposed to mean? Enough talking. Let us begin your training. First, you need to meditate. I decided to play along with Zeus's training and began to meditate with him. He told me that I needed to clear my mind and steady my heart. I did what he asked and concentrated on calming myself. I continued my meditation with Zeus, and he told me that it was finally over. Phew, it felt like we were doing this forever. I followed Zeus out of the temple and into an open area of the city. Now you must best me in a duel. Begin! The weather began to change around us, and lightning started coming down from the sky. I used my sword to shoot Zeus with lightning, and it barely did any damage. Zeus hit me with his version of lightning, and the attack sent me flying. Ouch, that hurt. You need to trust in your ability. Only then will you be able to beat him. He was right. I needed to trust in myself. If I couldn't do that, then I will never be able to defeat Zoltan. I concentrated on my powers and hit Zeus with my lightning breath, sending him to the ground. The god laughed and told me that I passed the test. Well done, Fozo. Soon you will be more than strong enough to beat Zoltan. You just have to believe in yourself. I thanked him for his words of wisdom, and the two of us left the open arena. On days 45 to 47, Zeus told me that now that I've passed my training, I was worthy to receive the next core. You see, Fozo, I've been looking for someone to pass my powers on to, only to someone that was worthy. He told me that he had to keep them safe from Zoltan because he was afraid that he would steal them from him. If my powers fell into the wrong hands, there would be catastrophic consequences for everyone. Zeus led me into another building, and the core was located there. He handed me the core and told me to equip it. I did as he asked, and I instantly felt Zeus's powers flow right into me. I even gained 10 more hearts. Suddenly, Zeus began to fade away. Wait, what's going on? He said that now that he's found a successor to his powers, he was no longer needed. But what about the final core? Where am I supposed to find it? Do not worry, folks. The final core will reveal itself to you soon enough. Farewell. Zeus completely disappeared. I vowed to him that I would use his power to defeat Zoltan. I flew out of Olympus and made my way back to base. I made it back to base and was surprised to see that Milo was there with Jumper. Fozo, it's good to see you. Have you found the third core? I told Milo that I did and what Zeus told me about finding the final core. Hmm, that's very vague. Nonetheless, if the core shall reveal itself to you, then you need to be patient. I told Milo that I understood, but... I was worried that the final core wouldn't reveal itself before Zoltan destroyed the world. Jumper told me not to worry and reassured me that everything was going to work itself out. I thanked Jumper for the encouragement and asked Milo what he was doing here. He told me now that after working on the kingdom, he decided to go back to his village and needed my help fixing it. I gladly agreed and the two of us left the base and headed for the village. We made a pit stop at a forest nearby, and we both took some trees down. When we arrived at the village, I noticed that it was starting to gain villagers again. I was happy to see that. Milo and I used the wood that we collected and rebuilt the village back to what it once was. He was really happy to see his home restored. I told him that it was no problem, and I flew back over to base. Once I got there, I went into my house and decided to sleep for the rest of the day. On days 51 to 53, I woke up to the sound of explosions. What in the world's going on? I quickly ran out of my house and spotted Zoltan and his army destroying my base. So this is where you were hiding. How did he find this place? He struck me with one of his spells and sent me flying into my farm. The blow dealt some damage, but I was stronger now thanks to Zeus. I used my lightning breath and struck down Zoltan. It seemed to have caused him a bit of damage, and I knew that I had a chance of beating him. I used my sword to strike Zoltan, and it seemed like it was starting to gain some momentum. The wizard then hit me with another spell, and I was reeling in pain. I was about to counteract when suddenly I heard Jumper scream. I turned around and saw Jumper was completely surrounded by Zoltan's minions. Surrender now, or the rabbit dies. Don't do it, Fozo! I didn't want to see my friend die, so I had no choice but to surrender. Leave my friend alone. I'll go with you. Go. Take him away. I followed the minions out, and we made our way out of the base.
I followed Zoltan and his minions all the way to a dark and forbidding castle. This must have been his home. It's got evil written all over it. Zoltan's minions threw me in a cage, and I had nowhere else to go. Then the evil wizard showed up in front of me. Finally, after all this trouble, I have you, Lightning Dragon. What are you going to do with me? I have created a special tube for you. And once I put you in it, your lightning will give power to me and my entire army. Then we will be unstoppable. I told Zoltan that I wouldn't let him get away with this. I was going to stop him one way or another. <laughs> How? You've already lost. And I've already won. Prepare yourself, Lightning Dragon. You're going to get a front row seat to the end of the world. I watched helplessly as Zoltan <laughs> laughed and walked away. I tried using my speed boost to charge through the cage, but it didn't work. My lightning breath is also no use. Ah, this is so frustrating. I couldn't just sit here and wait for Zoltan to use me. I needed to figure a way out of this. But... How? On days 57 to 59, I fell asleep in my cage until I heard someone calling out to me. Fozo! 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 I woke up and saw that Milo was outside of my cage. Milo, what are you doing here? He told me that Jumper told him about my capture and he managed to find me. Milo released me from my cage, and I thanked him for his help. Now, let's get out of here. Milo and I snuck our way throughout the castle, and we got close to the exit. All right, we're home free. It's the lightning dragon. He's trying to escape. Suddenly, Joseph ran inside, and Zoltan appeared before us. You're not going anywhere. Joseph charged at me, and I used my lightning breath to send him flying across the castle. Zoltan tried to blast me with a spell, and I used his speed boost to dodge his attack. Joseph came back. Back and knocked me away with his mace. Zoltan shot another spell at me, but Milo jumped in the way of it. Milo, no! We need to get out of here! Milo got on top of my back, and we flew out of Zoltan's castle. We finally made it back to the base, and Jumper was there waiting for us. Fozo, you're back! Milo fell off of my back and was gravely injured. Milo, you've got to get up. I I'll have Jumper bring you some food to help you. No, Fozo, it's too late for me. Please, finish fixing the kingdom. Lead the people. They need guidance. And I need you, Milo. You don't need me anymore, my friend. Save the world, Fozo. I know you can do it. Jumper and I helplessly watched as Milo died in front of us. All he wanted to do was help people and make the world better. And now he's gone. The next day, I decided to get materials and build a grave for Milo. I needed to honor him and remember him. Everyone should after what he did for the world. After I finished, Jumper and I took a moment to mourn our friend. I'm so sorry, Fozo. I didn't think this would happen. I told Jumper that it was okay and that it wasn't his fault. It was Zoltan's and he's going to pay for this. On days 63 to 65, I decided to leave the base and continue upgrading myself in my fight against Zoltan. I was flying in the sky and spotted a cave. I landed in front of the entrance and made my way inside. I then used my pickaxe and mined as much stone and iron that I could hold. These resources would be useful to building the kingdom back up. I ventured deeper into the cave and I found some diamonds inside. I mined them and I finally had enough of the material to craft the rest of my diamond armor set. I made my way out of the cave and flew off towards the kingdom. I landed inside and the villagers were there. They were sad to hear that Milo had died, but I reassured them that everything was going to be okay. With the resources that I collected from the cave, I started rebuilding more of the kingdom up. After making progress on the kingdom, the villagers gathered around me and they told me that they were thankful for my help. Jumper showed up and was proud of the progress that I made in building it. You're doing great, Fozo. If my parents were here, they would be proud of what you and I are doing. He seemed down still and I asked him what was bothering him. Jumper told me there was something precious to him that was left in his parents' old village. I told him that I would go get it for him and flew off towards the village. I made it and began my investigation finding his parents' home. He told me that the item that he left behind belonged to his family and I just needed to figure out what it was. I made my way through the village, but suddenly I heard voices nearby. I hid behind something and saw that some of Zoltan's men were still here. Man, it was so fun destroying this village, right? Yeah, it was so easy. Rage started to fill within me, and I stepped out of my hiding spot and revealed myself to the minions. Ah! 
It's a lightning dragon! That's right. And you guys are gonna pay for destroying my friend's village all of those days ago. I used my lightning breath and took down the minions. One of them tried to charge at me, but I used my sword to take him down as well. That'll show you jerks. I was about to leave the village, but I spotted a magician's hat on the ground. Something told me that it belonged to Jumper. So I took the hat and I flew off towards the base. On day 69 to 71, I was flying my way back to the base when I suddenly saw Joseph skulking around the area. I was more ready to fight against him, and it was time to stop him and his destruction. I flew down to the area and confronted Joseph. Lightning Dragon, I was just tracking you down. It's time to end your destruction once and for all, you monster. We both charge at each other, and Joseph hit me with his giant mace. Joseph tried to attack me again, but I used my speed boost to dodge him. I sped around behind him and used my sword to blast him to the ground. Joseph was extremely weakened from this attack. This cannot be. No one is supposed to be stronger than me. Things have changed now. I used my lightning breath to deal the final blow and finished Joseph off. Suddenly, a vision popped in my head. I found myself in the jungle, and there was a temple. Inside of it was the final core. Bah! The vision ended. I guess I know where the final core is now. I flew out of the area and made my way back to base. I made it back to base and presented the hat to Jumper. I could tell that my friend was excited. You found it! You found the hat! Thank you, Fozo! I told Jumper that it was no problem, and I also said that I knew where the final core was. This is great! Now you'll be ready to take down Zoltan! I agreed, but I was worried that Zoltan's minions would come back to the kingdom and harm the villagers. I told Jumper that the villagers need a way to protect themselves without my help. I gave Jumper the leftover stone and iron and told him to take them to the kingdom. I then said to use the resources to make weapons and give it to the villagers. I wanted them to be prepared if there was another attack. Don't worry, Fozo. I'll make sure that the villagers are ready. I thanked Jumper and left the base immediately. On days 75 to 77, I was flying throughout the world heading towards the jungle temple. Once I get the last core, I'll finally be able to defeat Zoltan and end this madness. While flying, I spotted him out in the open. He was watching me, waiting for me to come to him. I couldn't let him follow me to the temple, so I flew down and confronted him. You think you can just kill my second in command and not expect me to retaliate? Joseph got what he deserved, and soon you will too. Zoltan teleported behind me and hit me with one of his spells. The spell dealt some damage, but my diamond armor took the brunt of the blow. I pulled out my sword and blasted Zoltan with the sword's lightning. The wizard shot me with another spell and sent me flying across the area. You're coming with me one way or another, lightning dragon. Then I'm going to make sure you're in the worst possible pain as I take away your lightning. The wizard charged up another spell and I charged up my lightning breath. We shot each other at the same time and we both knocked each other out of the area. Whoa, ouch! Uh. It looked like Zoltan's blast sent me all the way to the jungle. This was perfect because now I can go search for the temple. Suddenly, there was a rustling noise within the jungle. Whoever is there, show yourself. The noise stopped and an ocelot popped out and tried to attack me. I won't let Zoltan take the core away from this jungle. Zoltan, what are you talking about? The ocelot heard me talk about Zoltan and assumed that I was working for him. Believe me when I tell you that I do not work for him. I'm trying to stop him. Hmm, is that so? I told the ocelot that I needed to retrieve the last core from the jungle temple so that I could finally defeat Zoltan. The ocelot still didn't seem to trust me, but he knew that Zoltan needed to be stopped. Follow me. I'll show you where the temple is. On days 81 to 85, we made our way through the jungle and eventually arrived at the temple. I thank the ocelot for guiding me here. Just promise me that after you take the core, please take care of Zoltan. That mad wizard has to be stopped. I told him that I would, and the ocelot left me with the temple and made my way inside. As I made my way deeper into the temple, the ghost of Milo appeared before me. Milo, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, old friend. Milo told me that he was proud of my accomplishments and thanked me for taking care of the villagers. I told him that I, I missed him and that I was sorry that I couldn't save him. It's all right, Forzo. It wasn't your fault. The last core is just up ahead. Become the lightning dragon you were meant to be and save the world. I know you can do it. Milo's ghost then disappeared. Thank you, Milo, 
for everything you've done. I walked further into the temple until I finally reached a shrine, and the last core was inside of it. I equipped the core, and lightning started to shoot around the sky above me. I could feel my lightning abilities have enhanced even further. I was ready to take on anything now, and that meant I could finally face Zoltan. I made my way out of the temple and flew off towards the kingdom. I returned to the kingdom to check on the villagers, and I was happy to see that Jumper was able to reach them. Jumper used the iron and stone that I gave him to craft the villagers with weapons to arm themselves. Good work, Jumper. Now, the villagers will be ready if they're ever under attack again. Ah, uh, it was nothing, Fozo. I'm just doing what I can to help. I decided to help the kingdom even more, and flew off to find some resources. I made it to a cave, and went inside to find it full of iron and diamonds. Using my diamond pickaxe, I mined as much material that I could, and collected enough to return to the kingdom. Once I got back, I quickly used the new resources to upgrade it. The villagers were very happy that I was doing this for them, and I told them that it was just my job. After doing all that work, I went inside of the castle and decided to rest for the night. On days 91 and 94, a villager woke me up from my nap and told me that he had a surprise for me. I walked out of the castle and all of the villagers were there, praising me. A villager told me that when their king died from Zoltan's rampage, things were very hard for them, but ever since I showed up, it's gotten better. I told the villagers that I wanted them to know that hope is still alive. I also told them that they needed to be able to fend for themselves without me. That's why I had them arm themselves with weapons and armor. I used the diamonds and iron that I had left over and crafted the villagers' armor to protect them from the danger. They were very happy, and I felt comfortable that I could leave the villagers without any worry. I told them that it was time to take the fight to Zoltan and permanently end this madness once and for all. Stay here and defend the kingdom while I'm gone. I was about to leave when Jumper came over and stopped me. I'm coming with you, Fozo. You can't do this alone. No, Jumper, I need you to stay here, okay? Protect the villagers. They need someone to lead them while I'm gone. Jumper was hesitant at first, but agreed. Thank you, Jumper. I flew off towards Zoltan's castle. I finally made it to the castle and I called out to him. I told him that it was time to finish our fight. Suddenly, swarms of Zoltan's minions started to come out and guarded the entrance. The minions all looked angry and were ready for a fight. You want to do this the hard way then? Fine. Charge! The minions all came and began to charge at me, but I used my lightning breath and took some of them down. I've become much stronger now that I've had all the cores. Fighting minions was just child's play at this point. I pulled out my sword and blasted some of them down. One of the minions attacks managed to hit me, but my diamond armor was too tough for them. I needed to find a way to take all of them down at once. I took a moment to concentrate, and suddenly, a lightning storm started above the castle. I used the lightning in the area to defeat the rest of Zoltan's minions. Now. It's time to take down their leader. I entered inside of the castle and made my way towards Zoltan. On day 100, I entered the main part of the castle and Zoltan was there waiting for me. Thunder could be heard all around. So you took down all my men, huh? It doesn't matter. You'll never be able to beat me. This ends, Zoltan. You're going down. I used my speed boost and charged right into him. The blow sent him flying across the area, but he suddenly disappeared. I looked around to see where he was when he appeared out of nowhere and hit me with a powerful spell. Uh, the damage was so intense, but it wasn't enough to take me down. I pulled out the sword and blasted the wizard with everything that was in it. I could tell that he was hurt, and I charged in to slash Zoltan with it. Zoltan blasted me away and floated right over me. Once I kill you, the world will know to fear the great Zoltan. I used my lightning breath to push him away from me. The wizard was greatly weakened by this. This is for Milo and everyone you've hurt. I charged up all of my powers and hit Zoltan with a barrage of lightning bolts, killing him for good. Zoltan was gone, and Minecraft was once again peaceful.